what is up guys, this is Jacko2011 and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 dinosaurs that in, is in need of a buff the most. And you guys may notice that there are a lot of sauropods on this list, but that is because sauropods are not very realistic in this game right now. And I did a voting actually before I did this video, so I did the voting and people wanted me to go in a realistic manner compared to balance in the uh, manner. As you guys know, it's kind of like balanced right now because sauropods are not unkillable and one dinosaur can kill the biggest dinosaur and stuff like that. Like T-Rex can kill Barrow and Albino Terra can kill Barrow. But if we're going in a, on a realistic manner, that won't happen here. And another disclaimer, I am not a paleontologist. So these stats are just like my ideas of realistic stats. I know a little bit about dinosaurs, but I'm not some dinosaur nerd that knows everything about dinosaurs. So, you guys gotta like bear with me if I say something completely wrong, but some of these things have been done in the past because like I made some revisions list and if you guys didn't know revision is a uh, restats basically where we just like look at them stats and make some new ones. And I did them in the past, some of these, so I may not be able to uh, remember exactly why. But I have some explanations for some of them and some for others. Uh, I just think that a lot of things need uh, restats because it's very unrealistic right now. And if we want to go for a realistic path right now, these are gotta take place. Not exactly my stats, but I think... Dinosaur Simulator would be better with realistic stats, like more realistic stats. And if you guys didn't remember, there was actually uh, something, some talk about the twice sauropod stats, like multiplied by two all of sauropod stats. And I wanted that a lot, but apparently it has been cancelled by Fear Not now. And uh, for the interview, I've actually asked Mike slash Vendigo King why it was scrapped for now. We don't know if it'll come back but I really hope so and there are also a few carnivores on the list as well it's like half half carnivores and herbivores so I think we should just uh, get into the list guys like let's go I'll see you when we start okay so first we have a parasaurus and you guys may be like oh my god Jacko a parasaurus is already so OP we don't want a buff for that but I, as I just said like this is not very realistic and remember if they get buffs in the HP and attack, right, the speed will be nerfed quite a lot, quite a lot, guys. So, right now, right now, a Patosaurus has got a growth rate of 1.1, and it has got, it, it costs seven, 750 DNA, and it gives you 27 DNA per day after day 24, and it has got 330 hunger full, and it takes 77 minutes to elder it and it has got 2730 hp 10 defense and 270 plus the 25 percent so it's like 350 or something damage right now and an attack speed of 1.5 so it can attack normally each like 1.5 seconds like this normal attack and of course we have the aoe which is three and a half seconds so that gets into the damage per second actually and um, yeah it's just like zero bleed of course 100 energy 12 speed at elder 15 at running elder and it has got 3003 durability right now and 168.5 damage per second and the buff that I've imagined for this one is a growth rate to 3.6 3.6 guys and it will cost 3000 DNA. It will give you 95 DNA each day above day 24. It will have 1140 hunger. And it will take a little over 4 hours to Elder. 4.5 hours actually. Almost. It's, it's quite ridiculous. But trust me, this will be good. It will have 10 oxygen as before. But it will have 5460 HP with 10. 10 defense, yeah, and 540 damage, and attack speed of 2.1, 2.0, <laughs> sorry, 0 bleed of course, 100 energy, 
7 walk speed, 7 walk speed, so it goes from 12 to 7, a 9 run speed. But this will also mean that it will have a durability of 6,270, and it will have a damage per second of 187.5. So it's quite a super development, as uh, Seno from Dragon Ball Super would say. Like It's gonna get really strong, but it's meant to be strong, it's a, God, it's a crazy big sauropod, like, holy, holy moly. And yeah, I think that was it for a Apatosaurus. It needs a buff, but it's not prioritized above some others because it is quite strong already. So let's move on to the next one. So here we have the Shastasaurus, and you guys may know, this is the derpiest model in the game right now. And it will probably get a remake soon, and hopefully this buff. No, not particular in this buff, but some kind of damage buff. But right now it has got a growth rate of 1.6, right? It costs 500 DNA, and... It gives you 40 DNA each day over day 24. It has got five, 480 hunger and it takes one and a half hour to uh, to Elder. It has got 300 oxygen and 4500 HP with 40 defense and 180 de attack. 1.5 attack speed, 0 bleed, 100 energy. And it has got 13 speed and... 16 run actually <laughs> I was just about to say like 12 and 15 or something but nah nah they, this ain't it and so right now it has got 6300 durability and 90 damage per second but the buff I want is in both growth rate and we just start like with a both growth rate and attack and zero, zero. so we get up to 3 in growth rate 6500 DNA is what it's gonna cost for this buff and I know you guys may be like oh my god it's gonna be so expensive but remember these dinosaurs will be very strong very strong so I think it's fair it will give 75 DNA each day above day 24 900 hunger it will take three hours to elder same oxygen same HP same defense but it will have twice the damage, twice the damage guys, so 360 damage, I think this is very much in need of, because Chestosaurus is very weak right now, it cannot even combat itself, so it is very broken, but even though it will get 360 damage, it will have a growth, no wait, attack speed of 2.5, which will mean it will go a bit lower in DPS than normal, and it will have 12 speed and 15 swim fast speed run speed <laughs> it's quite weird in the water because i don't know if i'm supposed to say run or something but it will have 132 damage per second so it goes from 90 to 132 damage per second which is which is quite a good little jump there but yeah i think that was it for uh, shastasaurus oh i almost died actually <laughs> so let's move on to the next one yeah and so here we have the Shantungosaurus, a remodel that is very cool to be honest, I like this model a lot. But let's get into these buffs that I've made for Shantungosaurus. We have 1.2 currently in growth rate, it costs 1040 DNA, it gives 30 DNA per day after day 24. It has got 360 hunger, it takes 84 minutes to elder. 30 oxygen, I don't really know why he's got 30 though, so uh, yeah, very weird, but 2010 HP, 20 defense, 210 damage, 1.5 in attack rate, 0 bleed, 100 energy, 16 speed, 20 run speed, and 2412 in durability with 105 damage per second. And this buff is actually, it's not something crazy, but it's a good buff I think. I'm gonna buff the growth rate up to 1.5, it will cost 2020 DNA and it will give 37.5 DNA each day above day 24. It will have 450 hunger, it will take 1.5 hour to uh, elder it, 10 oxygen, 2400 HP, 20 defense, 238 damage, 1.5 attack speed, 0 bleed, 100 energy, 12 12 normal speed and 15 run speed and this is quite good because Shantungosaurus shouldn't be that fast <laughs> but um, it will have 288 no wait 2880 sorry guys 2880 durability with 119 damage per second so this is not some crazy buff 
But this buff is very much needed because Shantungusaurus is not very strong. So yeah, my recording uh, software kind of like messed up, so um, I had to record for the rest of the video again. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So yeah, let's just get started with Allosaurus. Um, yeah, Allosaurus is getting a good buff, just like Shantungusaurus, nothing too crazy. So we are gonna go from 1.6 growth rate and 15 DNA per day after day 24, 180 hunger takes 42 minutes to elder it 10 defend 10 oxygen i mean 1080 health 10 defense 168 damage 1.5 attack rate 1 bleed 100 energy 19 speed 23 sprint speed sprint speed and 1188 durability with 88 84 damage per second and we're gonna buff this guy a little bit to one 0 0.8 growth rate 20 dna per day after day 24 240 hunger 56 minutes is what it's gonna take to elder 10 oxygen 1260 hp 10 defense 204 damage 1.5 attack rate 1 bleed 100 energy 15 speed 18 sprint speed 1386 durability and 200, 102 damage per second so allosaurus is gonna get a little a little buff but it's, it's nothing too crazy but it just needs one because it's this kind of was like three tons or something three ton uh, theropod needs a buff you know so that's very important that we get this one but let's just move on to the next one let's go so here we have Pertosaurus, and we're gonna give Pertosaurus a buff as well. We start at 2.5 growth rate, it costs 1540 DNA, it gives 62.5 DNA each day after day 24. It has got 750 hunger, it takes one and a half hour to elder, basically, kind of, yeah, actually yes. <laughs> 10 oxygen, 3600 HP, 15 defense, 360 damage plus 25%. It has got an attack rate of 3.5 right now, 0 bleed, 100 energy, four, oh, 14 speed, 10 speed and 12 sprint speed with 4140 durability for 139 damage per second. We're gonna buff this guy to 4.0 in growth rate. It will cost 5020 DNA, it will give 100 DNA each day after day 24, it will have 1200 hunger. It will take four hours to elder guys. Four hours to elder. Which is quite crazy. 280 minutes. Wait, that's actually not that's not four four hours, that's more than four and a half hours. That holy moly, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> holy moly. But um 10 oxygen, 7200 HP, 15 defense, 720 damage, 3 in 3.0 attack rate. Zero's energy, <laughs> 100 energy. No, wait. Zero bleed, 100 energy. Uh, <laughs> six speed, eight sprint speed, 8,160 durability, and 240 damage per second. Oh, it's so hard to record again, guys. Even though I just did it, so just bear with me. My voice is like really tired now because I've just been speaking for one hour straight now. <laughs> But yeah, this Pertosaurus buff is really needed because we needed that sauropod buff that we were promised, but it has been scrapped now. So we need that so much because, like, Pertosaurus were like 20 meters tall or something and weighed 70 tons. We kind of like, like been beaten by two uh, Acrocanthosaurus or something, something very weak compared to this guy. So let's move on to the next one on the list. Let's go. So here we have Lead Sixthis, and Lead Sixthis right now is very weak, but we're gonna buff it, yes. 1.5 growth rate, 540 DNA is what it's gonna cost you to buy. It gives 37.5 DNA each day after day 24, and it has got 540 hunger. It takes one and a half hour to elder right now. A little more actually, but meh. Infinite uh, oxygen what it's got right now 2400 hp at elder 15 defense 120 damage at elder which is which is super low with an attack speed of 1.5 zero bleed 100 energy 14 speed and 17 sprint speed 
with 2760 durability and 60 damage per second. It, it's very low, very low, and we need to buff this guy. So, we give him 2.00 growth rate. 750 DNA is what it's gonna cost you after the buff. 50 DNA each day after day 24. 600 hunger. It will take you roughly two and a half hours to elder this guy after the buff. We'll have infinite oxygen, 2700 HP. And 2000, 2000, yeah, didn't already just say that. Yeah, I did. 15 defense, 300 damage, 2.5 attack speed. So even though we buff it a lot in damage, it's gonna be, get nerfed again a little bit, but not that much. So uh, zero in the uh, elite damage, 100 energy, 12 speed, 15 sprint speed, with 3,105 durability and 110 damage per second. So this buff is really needed because lead sick. This is so weak right now we need a buff for it like seriously guys we need a buff so i hope we're gonna get a buff to this guy soon when if we ever get a remod because i hope we're gonna get a remod because we need one so let's just move on to the next one let's go so here we have the triceratops and you guys may be like oh my god jacko triceratops is already so strong but don't worry guys we're both gonna buff it and nerf it so don't worry okay so triceratops right now has got a, a growth rate of 0.8 it is a starter, so you cannot buy it. 20 DNA each day after day 24. It's got 240 hunger. It takes 56 minutes to elder it. It's got 10 oxygen, 1,800 hunger, 30 defense, 210 damage, 1.5 in attack rate, 1 bleed, 100 energy, 6, 14 speed actually, not 16, because that's the old stats. 14 speed and 17 sprint speed. It's got. 2340 in durability right now with 105 damage per second and we are gonna buff it to 1.2 growth rate will still be the starter of course 30 dna each day after day 24 360 hunger will take 84 minutes to elder it 10 oxygen 1560 hp so this is where we nerf it the first time we're gonna buff it don't worry guys we nerf it again here 20 defense but we buff it to 264 damage and you guys may be like oh my god that's the same as mega ball but have you guys seen these crazy horns here they are gonna do a lot of damage a lot of damage and a lot of bleed as well so we also nerf it a bit with the attack speed to 2.0 which is very good actually and yeah that also means that it can attack a bit slower a bit slower than before it will have two bleed though, so this dinosaur is gonna be bleed heavy. So 100 energy, same speed as right now, 14 speed, 17 sprint speed, 1872 durability with 110 damage per second. So it's not that big of changes like in numbers, but that bleed damage will be very strong. So you guys wanna go, uh, gonna have to watch out a lot for that because. It, it's gonna be super strong if we get something like that, but I think that's fair, so let's move on to the next one. Let's go. So here we have the Brachiosaurus, and the Brachiosaurus is actually one of the worst sauropods in the game right now, even though it's one of the largest, so we have to fix this, guys. We have to fix it. It's got 1.8 growth rate right now. It gives 45 DNA each day after day 24. It's got 540 hunger. It takes a little more than two hours to elder. 10 oxygen, 2700 HP, 10 defense, 252 damage plus 25% more. So it's like 310 or something. 3.5 attack rate, 0 bleed, 100 energy, 12 speed, 15 sprint speed, 2900 in durability, and 97.5 damage per second, which is super low for a large sauropod like Brachiosaurus. So it definitely needs a buff. It definitely needs a buff. So. We buff it to 2.7 growth rate. It will give 67.5 DNA each day after day 24, right? And it will have 780 hunger at Elder. It will take two 182 minutes to Elder, so that's roughly three hours. 10 oxygen, 5,400 HP, the twice of what it had before. 10 defense, 420 damage. An attack rate of 2.5, which is a quite a big buff. At, nerf actually from before. Oh, that's a buff actually because the lower attack rate, the more it gets buffed, the stronger it gets. Actually. So zero bleed, 100 energy, 
9 speed, 11 sprint speed, 5940 durability, 140, 54 damage per second. So we really need this buff for Brachiosaurus. My, my poor little Brachiosaurus is not very strong right now. We need that crazy buff for Brachiosaurus. Or else he will like, cry himself to sleep every night. Like We have to support Brachiosaurus, guys. We have to support him. So let's just move on to the second most dinosaur in need of buff or something. I didn't know how to formulate a sentence right there. So let's go. So here we have the Chronosaurus. And you guys may be like... Oh my god, this dinosaur is uh, very weak already. Why would it get such a big buff? But have you guys seen this jaw? Like, this is one of the occasions where I don't really... I, I cannot really explain why it's gonna get this buff, but... I remember that this guy was like the largest version of Pleosaurus or something. And that the current Pleosaurus we have in game is Pleosaurus Funky. Which is not the largest. But this guy is apparently the largest. And... So yeah, this is gonna be some kind of... Apex Predator or something like very strong these stats won't make it at all in the long run So let's get into these buffs. I've given it. It's got 0 0.5 Growth rate what 0 0.7 actually growth rate right now. Sorry. It costs 400 DNA It gives 17.5 DNA each day after day 24, which is super low 210 hunger it takes 49 minutes to elder 300 oxygen 1440 on HP 50 defense, 180 damage, 1.5 attack rate, 1 bleed, 100 energy, 14 speed, 17 sprint speed, 1656 durability with 90 damage per second. So this is not crazy. This is not some good stats because if we just think about it, this jaw will it's gonna be crazy, the crazy apex predator. So now we're gonna get into the buffs. I buffed it to 1.8 growth rate, and you guys may be like, oh my god, that's insane, Jacko, but if this is going to be the Omega Apex of this, of the ocean, like, it's going to need a large growth rate. It's going to need a large growth rate. <laughs> and it will cost 2,020 DNA, give 45 DNA each day after day 24, 540 hunger, it will take a little over 2 hours to build up, 300 oxygen, 1,800 HP, 5 defense, 330 damage with a, an attack rate of 1.5, 1 bleed, 100 energy 14 speed 17 sprint speed with 1890 durability and 165 damage per second so this guy would be crazy if we got buff but he deserves it like chronosaurus is super strong in real life oh wait am i am i allowed to say in real life because uh, dinosaurs are instinct so uh, yeah I, I don't know if, I, if i'm allowed to say that but i think it's fine guys i think it's fine so I think we should move on to number one on this list. Let's go. So here we have the Barosaurus. And you guys may be like, oh my god, this dinosaur is already the strongest dinosaur in the whole game. But it it is actually not the strongest dinosaur in the game because some of you may know that it has got a terrible hitbox. Like, you may stand over here and attack at, over towards me and you may hit me from over here or something crazy. So this guy needs a stat buff to counter its terrible hitbox. So right now, Barosaurus has a, got a growth rate of 0, no, 3.0. It costs 2,040 DNA, gives 75 DNA each day after day 24. It has got 900 hunger, it takes 3.5 hour to elder this guy. 10 oxygen, 4,500 HP, 20 defense, 390 damage, plus 25%. So that's like 480 or something along those lines. Three. 0.5 attack rate, 0 bleed, 100 energy, 9 speed, 11 sprint speed, 4,000, no wait, 5,400 durability, and 150 damage per second. So this buff will make it crazy, right? 5.0, 5.0 on growth rate, will cost 7,520 DNA. It will give 125 DNA each day after day 24 though. It will have 1,500 hunger. And it will take almost six hours to elder. This is crazy, guys. Almost six hours. But for these stats, it's worth it. Six hours is worth it for these stats. 10 oxygen, 9,000 HP, 15 defense, 600 damage, 3.0 attack rate. Bleed damage is zero because it's a sauropod. 100 energy, 
5 speed, 6 sprint speed. This is going to be the slowest thing in the whole game, but also the strongest. 10,350 durability with 200 damage per second. So Barrow would actually be the strongest in the game. Like, it already is, but... It needs a buff, or else it'll just keep getting KOS'd by Albino Terrors and T-Rexes and stuff like that. And we don't want that, guys. We want to be able to embrace our Barrosauruses and use them freely, right? Like, run around the map and do crazy stuff. But yeah, that was it for this top 10 rundown. But I have two bonus ones for you. Two bonus ones. And remember, this is all my opinion. This is all my opinion, so... Please tell me why in the comments if you don't like this list. Tell me why, okay? But let's go to the two bonus dinosaurs. Let's go. So first we have the Albino Terror. This Albino Terror is like... You guys may be like, if you haven't got a hybrid, you may be like, Oh my god, I don't want a hybrid. A hybrid buff because I don't have a hybrid. If you have a hybrid, you want the hybrid buff. So it's like you, you kind of become biased when you don't have one because you don't want happiness for others. Like, I also can see the point of like getting KOS and stuff, but it's not that strong, so you can easily like run away from it or gang up on it. But yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys the differences that I've done. Not every single stat, because that will take ages. So I've given it 250 more in HP. I've reduced it from 35 to 20 defense. I've given it 18 attack more, so it's the same as Avenicus. And that gives it 30 more in durability. And it gives it 9 more in damage per second. And this is not bad, right? It's not bad. And remember, this is just to get it realistic. This is not to balance it or something. Because this guy was like, what, 5 feet longer than T-Rex. And T-Rex is like, already quite big. And it has also got Raptor DNA and T-Rex DNA. So the damage should be at least a little bit tight. A little bit higher than T-Rex or something. But let's move on to the second and last bonus one. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the Mega Ball. I'm just, just with the, just like the Albino Terra, I'm just gonna tell you guys the differences that I've done. But there are quite a lot of differences actually with the Mega Ball. So I've buffed it from 1.5 to 1.8 in growth, right? So it will be harder to grow your Mega Ball. This will also give it 45 DNA per day each day after 20, day 24, yes. And 540 hunger at Elder. It will take roughly a bit over two hours to Elder. 30 oxygen as before, but I've given it 150 more HP. That's quite good because a Mega Ball right now is not it's not that strong actually. And some of the developers I've heard from them that they actually want to make Mega Ball stronger compared to the other hybrids. So they are gonna nerf Avenicus hopefully. But yeah, this will give Mega Ball a durability of 2,925 and the same damage per second as before. So that was it for this video guys. Oh my god, this took me like one and a half hour to make or something because I had to reshoot all of all of the footage basically. So oh my god, this is uh, that was crazy, but I hope you guys liked the vi this video. Please please leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. Comment or something and please subscribe if you haven't already because it helps me so much. Like thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye. See you later.